Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just want to render this out, this little sequence of animation. And this time around, I'm going to use V-Ray. Um, <clears throat> let's just go and quickly uh, assign a new material. And I'll use, here, assign a new material. I'll use V-Ray material. Keep it really simple. Okay. Um, this, uh, let's see, I can play with a diffuse color if I want to. Um, but I think what I was showing that's just kind of fun to play with is turn up the reflection color. When you do that, it kind of starts to take on a chromatic kind of look. Okay, so, and I'm rendering in V-Ray. And you can see a little bit of reflection here and there. We're not seeing a really strong reflection. If I turn off Use for Nell, that gives me the strong reflection. And all I've got is black in the scene, so that's all it's reflecting right now. So if I go in and I create, I might create an infinite plane. I'll go to create V-Ray, V-Ray plane. Let's see what that looks like. So now we're getting a plane here, and it's reflecting and picking up on here. <clears throat> My environment is black. Um, if I wanted to, I could do some changes in the overrides, but for fun, um, what I'll do is I'll throw it onto a dome light. So if I go and I create lights, I create a uh, V-Ray dome light, now you'll see that I'll get a white reflection on here. Okay, and <clears throat> if I, my shadows are kind of soft, I don't have any really hard shadows. Uh, what else can I say about this? If I wanted something a bit more interesting for my reflections, I'm just going to hit escape and stop my render. I get a pause. Okay, I went and I found a big image. Uh, oh crap, I didn't put it in a good spot. Okay, now I put it in a good spot. Okay, I'm going to go to use uh, dome text. And for dome text, I went looking for an HDRI, HDRI image. I go here to file and I go to browse. I put it into my source image folder and it looks kind of like this. And now you're going to find that my dome light gives off a different kind of light. You're going to see it's got, I get colors down here. I get colors from the image. And it makes my reflections more interesting. Okay, now I get this kind of a chrome look out of the whole thing. Okay, I might notice that I see this image in the background and I'm not maybe that all that crazy about that. So I'm just going to hit escape. And... If you have the dome light selected, and my dome light, I do believe, is hidden right here. Okay. Um, and you see it show up in the attribute editor. Uh, if I go down to options, I can make it invisible, and then I get that black background up here again. Okay. And I find this kind of interesting. If you do want to change that background color, you can. Um... <coughs> I could even do something like, uh, here, I'll let it finish its thing. See if this looks interesting. It's getting too much gray here from the ground. But still, take a look at it here at the base, and this is all interesting. Okay, cool. Um, if I do want to change it so that my background color is different, and maybe even if I had this plane here, um, I think I've shown this before, where the plane... So the plane's probably sitting right there. I can pull it forward. Okay, it's really tiny. It's infinite though. Okay. Um, I can go into the overrides. And in the overrides, I need my viewport subdivision on so that I can have a smooth model. Okay, and I'm going to go to V-Ray and I got to turn on Adaptive. I usually put this on to 32. I think that renders faster. Um... And then when I flip over here, oh, back to the overrides, if I'm in the environment, if I use environment overrides, I can change the background color. I can make that anything I want to. Okay, I might make that some kind of white and then, uh, I don't know, change it so it's got a bit of something contrasty with the blue. Also like that. Very light. Okay. And now when I render this background color, it won't be black anymore, it'll be that color. And then if I want to make this look like it's infinite here, so that the floor is, uh, it's got a kind of a studio lighting look. Um, <clears throat> I could take this floor, and I could assign a new material. 
I could go in and assign a V-Ray wrapper just for fun. V-Ray material wrapper. And in the base material, I have to plug in a V-Ray material. Okay. And then uh, if I turn up matte surface, make it negative one, put on shadows, effect alpha, you'll see when I render, now I get this thing, this infinite color, and I should get shadows out of this. I probably want to put maybe a rect light in here. By the way, because I've hit this button right here, it always renders around where my cursor is. Okay. And, yeah, with very little effort, this looks kind of cool. Okay, and it renders a little bit slow because it's kind of figuring out some of these shadows and stuff like that. There's that box over there. Okay. And, uh... I let it finish, I'll let it finish because it's right there. Just hurry up. Render faster. Okay. Um, now I'll put in a couple more lights just because it looks interesting. Um, <clears throat> if I... Oh, yeah, let's put in a couple more lights here. I'll get rid of this. Um, I was thinking about going in here to create lights and I'll put in a rec light. And I put in the rec light, it always shows up at the base. Okay, down here. Um, and what I'll do is I, I, my typical trick is I go look through selected when it's selected, and then you can kind of quickly place it where you want it. Okay, and I'll do something like this. <coughs> and um, then if I go back to perspective, I've got the rec light still selected. I'm going to increase its U size and V size. Okay, and we'll render it and see what that looks like. I'm just going to see what it does to the shadows down here. Does it give me some shadow action? It gives me a bit more shadow action. I might even turn down the intensity of the dome, potentially. Because it does seem kind of bright. You can see all that white up in there. But it still looks kind of interesting. Okay, I'm just going to hit escape for a second. Um, if I select the dome light, I could probably grab it through the hypergraph here. It's a dome light. And maybe I'll just take my multiply intensor and I'll drop it down by a half. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, not quite so white. And now I'm starting to see some shadows from the rec light. Okay. And uh, I could change the colors on the light and stuff like that if I wanted to. Uh, what other things would be exciting? Uh, I think that should be it. Okay. Uh, or maybe if I wanted to make the uh, the lights a bit more shiny, like you could see some of the, you might be able to see the rec light here being really bright. Um, <clears throat> uh, maybe I won't worry about that too much. Uh, I go in here and I play with the V-Ray material. Anything else I showed you in class, uh, this use for now thing I turned off. The highlights, if I unlock that highlight, this will... Make it so that the you get a little bit of a flare out of the shine from the lights, which is more interesting in my opinion. Um, maybe one thing to watch out for, since we parented the uh, boxes, um, you just got to remember that uh, the box uh, should have its own material on it. So like this one here, if I right-click Assign New Material, and I pick out something that's, I don't know what, red, Okay, you're going to notice as the boxes are switching, boop, oh, now this one's smoothed. Um, oh, crap, because I print and I press 3 on all these. I wonder if there's a way around this. Eh, if I take this thing and I press 1, there we go, that worked. Okay, and if I right-click and I assign existing material, the last one I created was V-Ray Material 5, so it'll be red. Okay, 
and then this one over here just same thing assign existing material boom and everything's fine Boop. okay and <clears throat> um, anything else uh, maybe if the light shows up the rec light shows up in your render you'll see a little weird black uh, square you go to options you just make it invisible it won't show up it'll just render light and that should be about it uh, then if I go to the render settings just remember that I go to common and I go in I turn on animation and I pick my start frame my end frame okay and anything else I need to do uh, <coughs> render only in batch mode if you press render it'll just start rendering through the images and it will save them to your images folder okay and you could compile them into a movie if you want to but sound on it and stuff like that I'm not gonna do that here that's all you have to do you could also for rendering you just need to go to rendering go to render and batch render and boom it'll do the whole thing for you and I'm gonna stop here that's I think that's everything you need to know okay